Hi, my name is Jacqueline McGrain. Um, I'm the Chief Science Officer for McGrain Lab Systems. We're out here at MJ BizCon 2019 and really excited to be here. It's an awesome event and just showing off some of my equipment and talking with you guys at Cannabis Tech today. Right. You might know me from Instagram, I'm Shattergirl, Jacqueline and Shattergirl. And so um, I've been doing that for a long time now. I've been in the industry since 2011, 2012. So my background essentially, I went to MIT. I studied uh, biology, focused on organic chemistry a little bit as well. Uh, I had some fellowships in the biomedical research uh, field. So I studied women with anorexia at Harvard Medical School. And then I had a fellowship studying breast cancer at the Mayo Clinic down in Florida. And so I did some work there. And in about 2011, I saw like the opportunity in cannabis, right? In the state of Colorado, you know, in my home state's Colorado, that's where I grew up, you know, love Colorado. Um, 2013, Amendment 64, you know, 2011, you could see it coming. And I knew it was academic suicide, right? It was like, you know, I'm committing academic suicide by going into this industry. But the opportunity to help people and to like make a difference in, with wellness and natural medicine was just so big that I just couldn't stop myself. And so, you know, started basically with, uh, in 2011 with the hash making company. My first company was, yeah, making hash oil for uh, what became Native Roots, actually. So the Dandelion out in Boulder, a couple other facilities in the Boulder, Denver area. I won a bunch of awards for my BHO making over the years. I won the Hemp Connoisseur 2013, a couple other ones. Um, been in a couple magazines with my BHO products. And then I did a little bit of work over at RM3 Labs, which is one of the first uh, certified testing laboratories in the state of Colorado. So I helped uh, develop HPLC protocols for testing. And then I was lab director for a company called Endocana out in Denver in Aurora for a little while. And so we were a medium scale producer of a broad range of cannabis products, so, you know, mostly uh, hash oils, shatters, live resins, you know, fresh frozen, uh, anything made from fresh frozen or dried biomass material with BHO processing, so distillate as well. And um, three years ago, I started my consulting company, Cannabinoid Consulting, and uh, just started traveling the United States, helping people with their laboratories. You know, initially it was in BHO. I was teaching a lot of people how to make distillate, you know, creating distillate systems out of multiple components for multiple companies to kind of make like the best, you know, short path systems I could come up with. And, and over the years, you know, I developed a huge network of people across the United States and internationally, you know, just this year, I've been to like five different, six different countries, three different continents doing work for cannabis. And, and uh, hemp now, you know, the last two years, hemp has just exploded. Last three years, hemp has just blown up. And I've been a big part since the beginning in that industry, developing equipment, you know. As a consultant, I was designing, actually how I started, you know, working in the equipment space was, there was just nothing available for like large scale, you know, and not even large scale, like 2000 pound a day facility, you know. And so I ended up having to build the equipment myself. And I realized, hey, you know, this is a really cool industry, you know, equipment sales and, equipment development and so you know formed a company made some designs and that eventually turned into McGrain lab systems here and so this year we've had a lot of luck and a lot of great sales with our cps systems the crystal production device you know we were one of the first people to come out with a peer-reviewed positive pressure all stainless steel large scale CBD isolation system. This is the end of the cycle actually for the CPS. So this is the Gen 3, we're releasing it at MJ BizCon. Uh, what's kind of cool about it, and I'll kind of describe some of the features of it if that's okay. This is the mixing tank actually. And so you can see here, we got some really nice easy load trays. You can just pour your distillate and your oil right into the system. You can see they come out here nice and easy. There's an air drive motor, which runs a mixer. So it's a chem glass, explosion proof, air, di uh, air drive motor, runs an agitator that's in this reactor system here, this jacketed reactor system. So this allows you to use pentane, hexane, or heptane. I suggest using pentane or heptane for CBD crystallization and gives you a lot of flexibility. And so it's all stainless steel, 304 food grade stainless steel and it is going to mix up about 50 kilograms maximum per run. So each run takes about 12 hours, so about 100 kilograms a day can go through this system. And over here is the reactor. So 
the reactor system is where you make your crystals, right? And so once you mix up your slurry, you're gonna pressurize it, transfer your slurry over to the reactor, and then it runs off of a Huber CC508 chiller. This is really cool. This, so the patent, uh, my patent on the system, basically revolves around this piece here and the process itself, of course. But this is the crystal breaker, and the crystal breaker sits within a ferrule at the bottom of this vessel and seals it. And when you make your crystals, so it's a passive crystallizer, so your slurry, you're gonna chill it, the crystals will form all around the stainless steel and it'll be beautiful. You know, when you put your head, when you look in it, it's literally just like the entire bottom is filled with inches of crystals. You know, you might get crystals that are four inches long. And I'll show you some of like the acicular formations that it comes with. So like, you know, you can just see this gorgeous crystal structure, right? You know, this acicular crystal formation. And this was made using the same parameters as the CPS uses, using the basically the same uh, temperature ramps as well as dilution ratios. And yeah, just absolutely gorgeous CBD formulations. So that's gonna, or formations. So, so yeah, so those will grow around. And then when you're ready to empty the crystal, you twist, you lift, you lock this in place and you have a hole like ice fishing, you know? And that allows you to remove your pentane or your heptane, then dry your crystals with the jacket. So you heat the jacket up, drying your crystals all of the output goes through a cold trap so it's safe you know the solvent is never leaving the system it's closed loop for the solvent right and so it'll just be uh spraying out dry air into your into your hvac system so very safe operational concept and then you can open it as a 12 inch output here and a six inch and it's short and fat so you can actually reach every part of it and the crystals will come off as giant chunks you know like you'll get like a three, four, five kilogram chunk and you're just holding it like, yeah, this is great, you know? And uh, knowing, you know, like that five kilogram chunk's gonna help like, you know, 50,000 people potentially, you know, have better lives and ingest natural wellness and enjoy nutraceuticals, you know, and, and for how they're supposed yeah, to be. Um, I'd love to connect to everybody. You can check out our Instagram, Shattergirl Jacqueline and McGrain Lab Systems. So this is me personally and then the company. And then you can also uh, send an email to solved at mcgrain.co. So that's uh, solved at mcgrain.co, CO. Or call our general purpose number and we can get you connected to who you need to. And that's going to be 720-259-3560. So feel free to give us a ring. We'd love to help out with lab design needs, equipment needs, or if you're interested in integrating into a broad network and need testing solutions, we would love to be able to provide that help as well.